Hello. In this video I want to explore how we can work with strange file formats in Ultrax and perhaps import them if, if the, the default way of importing them into Ultrax doesn't, doesn't quite work. In this example I'm dealing with a CSV file. Uh, it's marked CSV and, and we can see it's got the headers here with common delimiters so that's fine. But Sunbright Spark has added a, a header row, a couple of header rows here which uh, is going to cause us problems as we do our import routine, particularly if this is coming in very frequently. It's not really an option to just delete that off manually each time. It's not a, an additional manual step I want to go through. So let's see what happens when I bring that in to Ultrax as it is using the standard CSV format. We can already see from our preview that is it's not going to work um, we've got an error too many fields in record 2 it's stopping us processing the rest of the file and we could say treat read errors as warnings but we're going to get nulls across the whole file there so that's not particularly what we want to do so let's um, let's do something else let's change the delimiter so that we're not using the delimiter. The delimiter isn't really applicable for this file. So this is the first step in dealing with this with this strange format. I'm going to go to a backslash zero to tell Ultrax that there is no delimiter. I'm also going to tell it there's no headers. There's no headers within this first row, so I don't really want to bring those in. And finally, the field length. I, I want to up that field length because we're going to bring the data into a single field of data and I want to make sure there's enough characters in that field to to be able to uh, bring all the data in. So once we run that I'm going to get all the data in a single field. Next step let's get rid of these first two rows. So I'm going to use the sample tool and use the function within the sample tool that says skip first n records in this case, n equals 2, I want to skip the first two records. Let's rerun that. Okay, this is looking a bit better. So now we need to uh, pass out each of those fields. I know there's 23 fields in this, uh, in this data set, so I can just move to the text to columns tool, split it into 23 fields splitting the field one which is the default name for that one field I've brought in and I'm going to call it split so it's going to be split one split two split three as it splits that out and when we run that you can see it's created those different splits if I scroll to the end unfortunately it looks like some of these fields have been moved across now the reason for that is because my product field has got quote what are called quoted qualifiers this is something that's common in csv files csv files often within the fields themselves have commas so the way we work around that in the csv format is to wrap those fields in quotes to tell products like ultra x or other data tools this is very common in csv formats is to use the quotes to tell it to ignore any commas the way we've used the text columns tool it's not it's not dealing with those commas and it's seeing them just as field separators so what i'm going to do is say ignore delimiters in quotes that's going to get around that issue so now when i go across here we can see all the fields are lined up so if you are using quotes qualifiers that's a step you're going to want to take it has the disadvantage that it does leave those quotes in here so we're going to deal with those in a second so let's uh, let's first of all though split out these uh, split fields but first of all I'm going to want to get rid of this first field my my full data set that's still in there and I'm going to do that using a select tool nice and simple deselect that field the next step I'm going to take is to use the dynamic rename because my headers here are all within this first row so I'm going to use the dynamic rename tool which is a 
really nice trick if you've not come across this just to to move headers up so I'm going to use the rename mode take field names from the first row of the data when I do that that's going to move them from the first row of data just slot them up into those field names perfect we've got what we need so the last step if you are dealing with quoted qualifiers is just to get rid of these and you'll see if I just dive into here there's two issues first of all there's the quotes at the beginning and end and secondly there's the double quotes that we actually need to turn into single sorry there's two sets of double quotes that we actually need to turn into one set of double quotes and I'm going to do this all in one go so across every single field in my data using the multi-field formula so I'm going to take all, all types of fields, work across them all at the same time, and this is going to iterate through each of those fields. And the current field I'm working on is going to be called the current field just here. So what I can do is, first of all, let's deal with those double, uh, two sets of double quotes. So in the current field, I'm going to use the replace function. So replace in the current field, two sets of double quotes. So I'm going to wrap this in single quotes. So find within my text those two sets of double quotes and replace it with one double quote. OK. And the the last thing, so at the moment I've got tried to apply string operator to numeric value. So let's just do this for the string formats actually because there's not going to be any uh, any commas in any of the formats. So I'm just going to do it for the text formats just to get rid of that error. So for all the text formats, replace in the current field those two double quotes with only one. That's what we want to keep. And then on the result, what I'm going to do is trim the result using the trim function and remove any double quotes from the beginning or end that's what that trim function is going to do so kind of two operations in one function but this is going to do exactly what I want because when I run this all those text fields there we go 29 inch exactly as we'd expect to see it with the quotes moved from the beginning and end of the data perfect so that's all I wanted to go through really. That's uh, got us into our format. We can then save this and continue working on with our uh, with our module to do what we need to do with this data. I hope that was a really useful tip. There's quite a few different techniques. Skipping, text columns, dynamic rename is a really useful tip. And then the multi-field function, perhaps a little bit advanced. You wouldn't need to do that with every function, but a really nice uh, way of getting rid of those quoted qualifiers as well are going to be residual in the data. Hope you found that useful. Um, it was really nice to go through that with you.